I've been having a heck of a time getting this polyester resin gel coat to dry in the amount of time I expect it to. So I did about 1.5% um, hardener, and you can see, you know, what's in my bucket is somewhat hard. I'd call it slightly rubbery, but it will still, you know, break if I snap it. And same thing here. But when I go over to my testing spot on the pontoon and tap it, I would call that wet, not even tacky, but wet. Um, past experience has shown that this will eventually dry. I mean, it's been 24 hours since I applied it, however, so I'd kind of expect it to work by then. My temperatures have been, you know, at overnight is like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and in the daytime, 85 to 89 degrees Fahrenheit, so, you know, the working temperature is correct. Um, I don't know what's going on other than maybe the fact that I'm laying this down over an epoxy resin is doing something. Or maybe, as you can see here, you know, this stuff dried out and it's kind of thick-ish. Um, so possibly I'm supposed to be laying it down thicker than I did, although I don't know how I would do that because it seems like it would run. But I've been having trouble with this drying in a reasonable amount of time, so I've been having to crack my garage doors for multiple days and just let it sit and dry on its own over time. Alright, it's now 48 hours after I uh, put this paint on. It's getting slightly tackier, but it is still wet. All right, 72 hours. Still a little tacky. Actually, it's quite tacky. All right, it's been two more days. Oh, it's only tacky. But not coming off. This thing ought to be ready to sand in a couple more days been almost a week, come out in the garage and I do not smell polyester resin. It is still tacky. I'm leaving a fingerprint in there, or a glove print. Nothing's coming off on the glove though. I'm really annoyed this is taking so long to dry. I'm getting all kinds of little flies trapped on it, and then this guy I feel bad about, but Apparently at some point a small lizard dropped, maybe from my garage door or something, and got stuck and died. So, yeah, first lizard embedded in a pontoon. So the polyester resin gel coat has hardened. You know, I can rub my hand across it and nothing comes off. Um, and most of the flies and bugs, you know, I was able to knock off because they were kind of on the surface and after it dried I could knock them out. So there's you know, a couple little spots here and there, but nothing super bad. Um, so I'm going to have to sand this a little bit, and then I'm going to try putting one last coat on it. And I'm going to kick up the hardener by more than they recommend. You know, they say, you know, 1% is what they recommend, and they say, well, you can go to 2% if it's cold outside. Um, and I was like at one and a half already, so I'm probably going to go to 3% and in the past, when I was working on the other pontoon, you know, really overdoing on the hardener seemed to make it, you know, solidify in two days instead of a week. Yeah, I have to say I have not been impressed with the West Marine gel coat here. When it shipped, it was supposed to come with a hardener in the box, and it did not. So when I called their customer support agents, they shipped me a package of hardeners. And it's possible that the package of hardeners they ship me isn't the right concentration or something. Although, I mean, it's MEK, right? It's just MEK. But, so for whatever reason, it is not setting up using the directions, you know, following the directions on the can with this particular batch of hardener. So I'm going to be using more in the future. All right, so last time I used 1.5% hardener. And this stuff here in a thin layer didn't dry for a week. 
this time I moved up to too much hardener. I used 3% hardener and the stuff that I got down in a thin coat is just slightly tacky. It's not coming off on the glow, but you can kind of hear it tacking there um, after only about 20 hours, which is acceptable performance on a cure time. Um, unfortunately, because I used too much, it started to harden up in my paint tray. And this was the absolute last batch I was doing and I didn't have any more. So instead of throwing it out, which is what you should do in this situation, I threw it on top and I hit it with my roller as fast as I could to try to get it all over the place. Um, and you can see, you know, from the paint tray it had kind of blobs and hard levels. Um, and also in an area over here where it was too thick, it was thick enough that the heat built up enough so that not only the layer I put down, but it adhered to the layer below it and dried it and then cracked it up. So I get this, you know, xenomorph popping out of my pontoon type effect here. Um, so I'm going to have to fix that, uh, but I won't be using polyester gel coat. I think I'm going to be going down to some type of epoxy here. Um, but that's what happens when you put it on too thick and it cures too fast because you have too much hardener on it. Now in the areas where I put it on, you know, a reasonable paint thickness, um, the 3% seemed to work pretty well. So I think if you're laying it down with a roller in a thin coat, you need to get enough heat to cure. I think, you know, maybe 2.5% might be the right amount, but you want to work in very small batches, maybe, you know, half of this at a time. Uh, because I got three quarters of it done before the uh, stuff really started to go badly in the pot. Um, so it was really just this last bit back here where things went poorly. Alright, so this is some of that stuff that was laid on too thick and it curled up when it was heating and drying and, and uh, peeled off. You can see the fiberglass, woven fiberglass pattern there from the back where it pulled the first layer off the fiberglass. And, you know, so that's the, the thickness of this right there. And of course, you know, in the paint tray, it was setting up in the paint tray. And of course, in the mixing pot, but you know, that's not how to get rid of it. 